I'm going to show you some basic techniques of how to use clip art in some free online editing software. So I'm going to be using an application called Photor, which is completely free to use, or you can pay for it, which will remove the adverts. So this is not a full completed design tutorial, but rather I'm just going to show you some basic techniques on how to use clip art, and then you can go ahead and create whatever design you like. So here I have Photor brought up here. I'm going to go to create a design and I have logged in. And you can see that there are many different templates that you can use, which is great for creating Instagram posts, social media posts, stuff for your newsletter, whatever you would like. But I'm going to create something, say like for an invitation design. I'm going to go to change the dimensions. I'm going to put five inches wide and seven inches high and then click apply. And it'll just take a second and it will bring up a new canvas for you. I'm also going to just zoom in a little bit so that it's a bit clearer on my screen. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is import some artwork. So I'm going to go up to import. I'm going to import one of our design backgrounds. It's called Ebony Atmosphere. Click on open and it will appear here on the right hand side. I'm just going to click on that and it will import into your canvas. You can maneuver it as well by using this rotate key with your mouse and you can just place it wherever you would like in your design. It is super simple to use. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I really like the dark moody texture of this one. Okay, when I'm happy with this position, I'm going to lock this down so I don't move it. Okay, just click on this lock icon and it will lock for you. Next, I'm going to import some artwork. I'm going to go to one of our designs called Classic. And within the set, there is a classic floral arrangement. And I'm going to use the PNG file because it has a transparent background so you can layer images on top of each other. So I'm going to hit open and it will appear on the right hand side again. Now you can maneuver this to wherever you like. You can resize it. And the good thing about this resize is that we will keep the proportions for you. So I like my artwork to be about here and then just click off. Now I'm going to add a few more elements. I'm going to use this open leaves design. I'm going to click on that. And this time, zoomed in a little bit, I am going to rotate this. I would like it to be flipped the other way. So I'm going to go to flip, horizontal flip. And as you can see, it has flip the design. Really handy, really quick, really easy to do. I'd like to duplicate this. So if you go up to the top, there is a clone stamp and you click on that and it will duplicate it for you. Now, say for example, you would like this leaf behind these flowers. To do that, go over to your layers panel and click on layer and simply hit move down and it will move behind the flowers for you. So that is a really, really handy way for layering images or text, whatever you have on top of each other. Okay. I would also like this leaf to be blending into the background a little bit more. So I'm going to go to this transparency button, click on that, and you can bring the slider down and it will make it more or less transparent as you move the slider. Okay. Now, say for example, you would like to change the color of some of these. To adjust colors, you can click on the image and go up to effects. And here it's got some pre-made presets for you so that you can click on these and get ideas. But if you go to more editing options, it will take you to another page. Now, don't worry, your design is still safe. It's just brought you to another page. Go to color. And here you can click and move the temperatures. So here you can get slight variations in your color and your tones. So I'm going to go for something like this. I'm going to hit save and return. And the good thing about this, it'll bring you back to your page. It will have copied your leaves. So it will save your original and it will make a new one here. So you don't have to worry about it completely gone. And if you want to bring up the original one, if you go to your cloud, if you're signed in, 
it will bring up all the images that you have uploaded and been using. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more. Okay, now say for example, I wanted to do something a little bit more complicated. Photo has some many different functions that you can use and I'm going to go into the stickers panel. I'm going to go to basic shapes. I'm going to create a rectangle at the bottom of my design. And this isn't a finished design, but it's just to show you some really fun techniques. You can change the color here and you can even pick colors that you would like. So I'm going to just go for something like that. Okay, next, say I wanted this artwork again, you can click here or you could have clicked the clone stamp as well. And say I wanted it just to border over this rectangle here. So now I'm going to use something called the crop function. Click on crop and it will bring in, I'll just zoom in a little bit. It will bring up a highlighted box within your design. So I'm just going to roughly place it over this border that I had created. And when I'm done, hit this tick at the top. And as you can see, it has cropped to the border. So that is quite a little fun and interesting way to use clip art as well. Okay, so you can obviously add text, add backgrounds and different stickers. But this was just a tutorial to show you how to use clip art. Once you're happy with your design, you can share it or you can save it. And if you are using this for printing, I would recommend saving it as PDF. And in the mode, change this to CMYK, which is ideal for printing. So once you've done, hit download and it will automatically save your design to your computer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found some useful tricks and tips for using clip art in a free editing software.